Ever since we watched Star Wars, I think it was in the second episode, uh, Kevin has been wanting to do a handstand like Luke. You know the part where Luke's doing handstand and Yoda's sitting on his foot? He's been really into it. I read that all Jedi's are basically like yoga masters, so I think I'm gonna get into it. Okay, don't kick me in the face. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Damn it! Hold you have one more try. One more try. Okay, ready? Yep. Imagine little Yoda sitting on his foot. <laughs> Here, I'll do it. Okay. <laughs> we decided to go for a little walk and I just noticed Olaf across the street here Oh, here he goes. Oh, they're snuggling. They're best friends. I'm really surprised that cat didn't like me, seeing as I'm wearing my cat hat today. We're going on a little walk. We just finished the vlog and our emails and we're outside before the sun goes down. And guess what? Tahoe got, in 24 hours, they got 24 inches of snow. So that'll be plenty by the time my parents get here. We're getting here in like one week. Exactly. So soon. There goes the sun over the mountains. We really do have a perfect view of the sunset from here. Kevin's doing a little work on the ladder over here. Tightening the hooks because they were falling off. <laughs> we were moments away from a ladder disaster. And voila. Check it out, black bean burger night. Kevin massacred his for some reason. Shut up, Dot. <laughs> The Nevada Bean Cake Massacre. Oh, okay. I've had enough of this insult for one day. I'll see you guys after. <laughs> Emmett just gave me a beautiful gift that he made yesterday. And uh, I also gave him, I forgot, in New Zealand I got this and I totally forgot that I did. Hold on, let me focus on it. I found this little fish that has soy sauce in it and I remember that Emmett loves soy sauce. So I brought that back And fishies. Him. And fishies. <laughs> I am working on my Christmas list for 2015. Kevin's mom asked me to make a list and I don't know what to put on it. The only thing I have in here right now is waterproof gloves for playing in the snow and winter socks. When you're a kid, getting socks is like the worst thing, but it's pretty much the best gift when you're an adult. I love getting socks. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and save the trolls the trouble. I will not be putting uh, that I want to get a life on my list. I will not be putting I want to get a real job. 
I will not be putting, I want to get a new boyfriend, and I will not be putting a hair appointment to cover my gray hair. None of that will be going on my Christmas list. All right, I think I'm gonna call it a night, go to bed. It's nice and silent out tonight, no wind at all, so I'm gonna sleep like a baby. I hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, or if you are in the whole entire world, I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. We are in the mall and it is madness in here. Everyone's doing their Christmas shopping. Kevin is gonna try on some pants because he needs some new pants for Christmas. And I'll show you why. All of his pants have holes in them. These ones are just starting, but most of them have holes all over them. So, it's time for some new pantalones. I've become Kevin's personal shopping assistant, carrying all of his pants. I feel like 20 pairs right now he's about to try on. Whoa, Kev, looking sporty. Got so much room to do the <laughs> I just talked to Kevin's mom and she sent us on a mission to this madhouse. Uh, and we're picking up 12 soaps for her because they're on sale right now. But she gave us the option of picking out all of the flavors and smells. So, Kev, what are you gonna pick? <laughs> Kev's feeling overwhelmed. He got stocked up. He picked all the flavors that were uh, cities, named after cities. My mom will hate it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Freedom. It was so crowded in there. I thought I was gonna get trampled. It looks like it's gonna snow right now. That would be fun. Okay, too many bags. It's snowing right now. I have to say, I'm really enjoying. I haven't been in Nevada this time of year before. Right? I usually am in Florida. Uh, and yeah. It, it's feeling really Christmassy. Everyone's really festive, and it's actually snowing and it's cold out. I haven't really done this before, so it's new and exciting. We just ate lunch at the Blind Onion, and I am really enjoying all this Star Wars merchandise and, and uh, advertising. Look at, they have a new beer here called the Dirty Wookie. Enjoy it solo or with a friend. You are so cute. You are so cute. Come live with us. Right now, Kevin is reading me fun facts about Walt Disney because we were talking about Disney. Why were we even talking about Disney? I said, do you think he's actually frozen? Yeah, Kevin's like, do you think, because there's that rumor that he's frozen somewhere and one day they're gonna thaw him out and he's gonna make like, I don't know what, but. Some really old animation. Yeah, so he's, he looked it up and there's this fact sheet about Walt Disney, things you probably don't know. His last words, his dying words, were scribbled on a piece of paper. He wrote the words Kurt Russell, as in the actor Kurt Russell. And he wasn't just a child actor, not even famous yet. And Kurt Russell has no idea why Walt Disney wrote that. That is gonna bother me forever. I need to know now why what he did that. A, what an honor for Kurt Russell. I know, right? that's what I was thinking. Also, the tenth one, tenth fact is after his death, he was not cryogenically frozen. Not frozen. One fact that everyone thinks they know about Walt Disney is that his body has been preserved through cryogenics. However, as Snopes long ago revealed, there is no truth to this urban legend. Too bad. While Kevin and I were shopping indoors all day, Emmett and Kelly were out in the beautiful outdoors enjoying some sledding. Here's a few clips. You guys, I found a San Pellegrino tree. Hannah would love this. <laughs> excellent, excellent. We're at Rayleigh's because we stuffed ourselves on pizza earlier and we just want like a light snack for dinner. Kevin and I both have kind of upset stomachs because we overloaded on the sauce. I thought you didn't have one. At Wild, at with Blind Onion, they give you a ton of sauces to put your pizza in. And now I'm really full of it. It's really good. It's really chic. I found elf ear ones. There's also this option. That doesn't even smell Really good. But we just found a great decorated house with light up pigs. Which, a goose. <laughs> and a goose. <laughs> Emmett loves pigs, so we'll have to show him. Oh wow, sparkly Santa. Great job, guys. 
Kevin is using our world's slowest water dispenser <laughs> to get some water. Give me a little uh, preview of that. So good though. <laughs> Takes a good seven minutes to fill up a cup. Uh oh guys, I got a code red. I just called the exterminator. <laughs> we have a fly and I'm too squeamish when it comes to flies. Where is it? It's hidden in the lamp, I think. I heard it. I don't think it's in this lamp. <gasps> there it is. Ugh. For some reason, I feel like flies can't see glass. Or like They don't see it coming? Yeah, because they don't ever, like, they just, like, unlike anything else, they just kind of, like, Chill, you know. There you go. Nothing more uh, trendy than catching flies in a mason jar with some twinkly lights. All right, guys, we're gonna go to sleep. The countdown to when my family gets here continues. Six days left, and they will be here for the five, first time since I've moved here. They will be on the west coast. Corey. Five until my brother gets here. We just booked our hotel room. We're gonna stay in Reno the night before they get here because everyone's coming in like one at a time. So we're gonna receive everybody from my family and Hannah's family, and I'm beyond excited. All right, going to sleep. Hope you guys have an awesome morning, afternoon, night, wherever you are in the whole world, and we will see you tomorrow.